to take this and go in the room 237. 237? Thank you. What's up guys? We're back with another video. Bueno guys, y el día that everybody's been asking what happened in Odessa. Well guys, we just literally came to court and then I thought really just get over it, pay the fees or whatever. Actually guys, I um, sent a message to the coordinator of the event and I told him like, are you gonna pay for this or how are we gonna do it? And still no response. But yeah guys, um, probably cause it's a little bit early. What's already like 11 o'clock and we had court at nine in the morning. Guys, we got here a little bit late. We got here like around 10.30 and we drove all the way from California. It was like, what, what was it Sharky? Like uh, 17 hours, no? 17 hours, yeah. 17 hours, guys. We're right now out here at the Ector County Courthouse in Texas. Look, show them the flag, show them the flag. Show them the flag, look, so you can believe us that we're actually in Texas. You see, we're in Texas. Who the? Well, guys, like I said, you know, we had court. I just, you know, of course, just pled guilty just to get over it. I'm not trying to come back because they told me if I do do another not guilty, I have to come to court again and waste more money on fuel and expenses and everything, guys. And it's, I think, probably like about like $1,200 into this trip right now. And we still got to go back to California. So it'll probably be like another like thousand dollars so this trip will probably be like at 2200 and like the guy said it'll be in caro's trip pero no pasa nada guys it's all part of of course the game or something you know even though i got paid to go to this legal event and um now we can talk about it guys you know i got paid to go to this legal event is the question that everybody's been asking what happened at odessa why did you get arrested you know why did you go to jail well guys like i said you know i came to this legal event legal event right supposedly it was supposed to be an open burnout pit from 10 in the morning to what time was it sharky to like four in the afternoon right burnout yeah normally guys every show we go to right they have the burnout pit open from 10 in the morning to like four or five or six some of them go all the way till the end of the show and this show guys the day of the show not the friday but the day of the show they literally told us like hey you know you guys are going to be up from four i mean from three to four or we're like perfect okay cool an hour and i have to pick about like six six to eight sets of tires to blow up you know for you guys out here in odessa and well guys no say so we did not get to blow those tires up well because you know they had the lowriders at the event too and the lowriders i think they you know they took a little too long of course guys lowriders they break down the heavy cars you know I, my, my family comes from lowriders we build lowriders too and i uh, just never showed that to you guys later on probably show you guys so probably i'll build one just to you know a hopper i don't know if you guys know what a hopper is but hopper is another one that hop real high but yeah you know the topic there but yeah guys so they had the lowriders going on you know they set up the canopies and everything you know typical guys people in the lower scene they like you know chilling vibing and, and so it's a badass scene too and big shout out to them and everybody in the lowrider scene and well guys you know they started pushing everybody out from the burnout pit because that's where they did the lowrider event and at the lowrider pit at the at the burnout pit so you know by the time they they, they, they pushed everybody out they, they started the burnouts and like i said it was supposed to be from two to three lowriders from three to four burnout pit but no guys the burnout pit started like at 3 30 and it supposedly had to finish at 4 30 you know a whole hour we're supposed to get a whole, get a whole hour and no we ended up getting just 30 minutes and when we went there you know we burned out with the og and then we burned out with the whistleblower we went back to soft tires because they were gonna lay in the uh, soft tires there at that little spot right there with by the burnout pit so we went back to my booth soft tires by the time we came back they had told us that the burnout pit was closed no more burnouts and i was like wait what 30 minutes that's not enough fun for us you know guys you guys know we like the drilling of burning out doing this madre that's just us guys being cagapalos for you guys you know doing this madre blowing tires blowing motors whatever gets messed up on these trucks you know for you guys and for the content you guys you guys want to see this madre we'll give you guys this madre you know they came to us no more burnouts whatever they started screaming at us like but we're not kids anymore you know so whatever we left so when i took off guys when i took off you know i i i, I gunned the truck boom right there where the burnout pits at i gunned it boom i took off and then I put the truck on neutral and started uh, uh, two-stepping the hell out of the truck, guys. And that was hora. It's hella loud. I wasn't out soda. It's hella loud, guys. It started popping so loud. Whatever, I get back to the booth, right? I get back to the booth. Remember, guys, the exhaust are dumped down to the, like, they're dumped down to the floor, like, to the side. So then they were saying that supposedly I was driving 
reckless i was driving reckless or whatever in the back that i was doing donuts in the back no guys we were not doing no burnouts we we're not doing no donuts in the back you know there's people back there whatever guys point is that i get back to my booth and then when we get there there comes the lady from the coliseum and talking about oh arrest him or i don't know what the hell she was saying and then you know the guy from the show two guys like i said he really didn't you know have that much of a say so because i get it guys he's in the middle of both of us you know him saving the coliseum or him not giving up about me you know so he's like whatever so guys he was just like when do what you guys gotta do he walked away bada bing bada boom you know guys i did get paid for that event you know i did get paid for the event i got paid and everything but that's where we get arrested we before we, we got paid after the show guys like literally after i came out of jail like three days later we got paid but that's when we get arrested you know we get to the booth and when we get to the booth the cops you know they huddle, they huddle up they come where well that's when that that lady whatever like oh arrest them whatever so then i'm like what you guys gonna arrest me for criminal trespassing and i'm like criminal trespassing how am i criminal trespassing if i'm getting paid to come to an event out here in odessa and they were like oh well they told us to arrest you or they did not read me my miranda rights they didn't give me a paper that I gotta sign before you get charged with criminal trespassing, you know, or it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a warning. Actually guys, uh, you know, it was just like random. I was like, you know what, go ahead, do what you guys gotta do. But they arrest me, you guys seen the videos, you know, I got arrested, bada bing bada boom. At the end of the day guys, it was just content. It was just content that came out. It just made us stronger, it made us bigger. We got more out there and uh, guys, we actually have the homie Primo right here. Come over here, Primo. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Guys, he's actually, um, he's a retired cop, right? He's a retired yes. cop, retired in the military. And uh, tell them exactly when they do a criminal trespassing, what do they have to, what do they have to issue you? So if you get criminally trespassed, they have to bring you a paper that informs you with all your information on there that you're criminally trespassed from said place, whatever. Once you sign it, that was your, your warning to leave. After that, if you don't leave, then they can take you to jail. So yep. basically it was an un unlawful arrest. But you got to see the positives and everything. While he was in there, he met the love of his life. So I did. <laughs> his name was Tyson. <laughs> but guys, uh, Primo was actually there at the show when that whole chaos happened, right? Yeah. Did you see? I, I'm just saying. I'm mean, asking you a question, you know. But did you see, did you see me doing donuts out of the supposedly what the I was doing donuts? No, like he didn't. He didn't do that at all. <laughs> once once the issue was done they said hey no more burnouts he was like okay i'll just go back to my booth somebody no names kept pressing the issue talking shit and just wanted to make it into something that it wasn't and uh i guess feelings got hurt i yep. posted my video on two different platforms and it got over a hundred thousand views and i did get a phone call to take it down and i'm not gonna take it down and it's still up it's still up go check <laughs> out my page so but yeah, guys, like I said, it was just a whole big old misunderstanding there. But now we got a fee of like a thousand something dollars. Going on something, when we got here, Sharky's there to prove it. When we got here, we went to all different rooms, huh, Sharky? <laughs> and then the guy, there's like a guy who just was like a judge sitting in a regular chair. He's like, how can I help you? And I'm like, oh yeah, I have court today. He's like, Come, coming from California, you know, my vehicle broke down and you never know we're running late. So he's like, no, if you court today at nine o'clock, if you don't come in, um, you have a warrant for your arrest and a fifteen thousand dollar bail. Uh, fifteen thousand dollar bail, right? Yep. Fifteen thousand dollar bail, and you're doing a, a six months jail, right? Yep. Six months jail, and I was like, wait, what? Like, what the hell? I'm like, why? I told him, he's like, well, if you got proof that you called, I'm like, yeah, I called. Like, oh, check the computer. So maybe he's there checking the computer, or whatever. He's like, oh, there's no sign here. I called. I'm like, I got, I got my, my phone. You know that I called, and I started calling people. When, that's when you woke me up. Guys, this guy <laughs> goes twenty four seven nonstop. He's always doing something. On the way here, I was punching him in the chest to wake him up. He finally woke up, I'm like, hey, call the courthouse, let them know we're coming. Okay, literally pulled out his phone, fell asleep. I kept waking <laughs> him up. He'd go to dial a number, he'd fall asleep for like 10 minutes, but he finally made the call. Luckily, you made that call, so you're covered. You're not gonna go to jail. No, nah, we're free, we're free, but we still gotta, we got a big fine. But guys, if you guys could do me a favor, go cop some merch, you know? Go cop the merch, and uh, that will merch, or at least we'll try to pay some of the fine, you know? But yeah, guys, like I said, we're out here right now in Odessa. We're actually kind of hungry. We have the Dicelona guys on the trailer. Should we explain to them? Guys, so he got in trouble, right? He got in trouble. <laughs> we're gonna say by who, but he got in trouble for trying to sell me the truck. And uh, he still has the, the cash, guys. We'll probably build something out later on. So I'm holding cash. We'll probably build something with that money out of your shop. Like I said, we have the shampoo out there, guys. You know, we'll probably do a 56 swap or something with Primo's cousin. They'll collab with him. 
But yeah, guys, so we have the Liselona. Big shout out to him. He got it running, guys. A1. So we have it on the trailer right now, and we'll probably bring it down, head back to Cali. And he's going to be heading back to um, Brownwood, Texas, where he's from. He has his uh, homie Munchies. Probably knocked out on the back to you, huh? Coma. <laughs> <It's a> coma. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, we'll probably bring it down. Before that, we'll probably go get some breakfast or somewhere. There's a little Mexican restaurant right here. It's pretty good. There's a marisco spot right here. Papitos. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, we almost went back to jail for being late. Oh, look, the homie squirrel. Hey, primo. Right there on the floor, we found Javi. Down, Javi. We found Javi, guys. Javi came with us. You don't know, you don't know, you know. always jumping up and down. Javi, is that Alvin and the chipmunks? <laughs> All right, guys, uh, stop. we got to stop joking around. And uh, he's about to eat primo up right now. <laughs> he's nuts. These nuts. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so another thing too. The state Sancho truck this stayed at the house. So that's yeah. actually typical. That's ours now. So stay tuned on, on them vlogs. Oh, guys, and if you guys want to see, he actually has a uh, state Sancho. State Sancho 2.0. So if you guys want to go check out his channel, as you guys seen, I've seen the comments on the old, one of the last videos talking about you guys, you know, like this vibe. Guys, this guy is funny as hell. He likes the, I mean, not going to say that. Like he likes the drilling in too, just like me. And uh, well, guys, since Uber actually in California, like I said, I can't really post these videos on my channel because I already got a strike for that. But if you guys want to go check it out, go to Primo's uh, Customs 325. We're going to put his YouTube channel right here, guys. Go check it out. I actually took him out to the streets of Mexico. Mexico. Compton, it's Mexico. It's going to be like an hour long vlog of nothing but takeovers. Yeah, it's got, no, you can't say that, bro. I said take out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, we took him out. So the streets of Compton, Me uh, Mexico, Compton, and uh, Compton Califas. Como dice mi compa Duvalin. We were out there, and uh, yeah, the, one of the trucks was out in the streets of Mexico too. We test drove it, and like I said, you guys, I'm not gonna post that on my channel, but you guys can go check it out on his channel. And for now, we're talking too much. Oh, is that Primo back there? You see him? You wanna ride that one? Hey, I had such a good time in California. I'm actually gonna go back to Brownwood, pick up the other burnout truck, and I'm gonna spend Probably a month and a half in California starting this coming up weekend. So be prepared for a lot of fucking content. Guys, the first day, literally the first day he was out there, the first day, you're talking about, not even the first day, the first like two hours that was, two, three hours that he was out there, he was like, I'm moving over here, bro. I'm right. It's fucking legit. Like, How, how'd you like the vibe out there? I've never been to another place like this. Like every second of the day, there's something fucking going on. Hey, but you being an ex-cop to watching that. Man. <laughs> either side of the law, you're gonna have a badass time. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. Like side. Hell yeah. Alright guys, well a ver que vamos a ir a tragar and then after that we'll bring down the Barcelona so we can head back to uh oh yeah guys I forgot to show you guys that we actually con el compa Sharky Iralo We actually we we he just woke up and when we got to his house we woke him up right because he was asleep. The alarm clock, I walked in his room and I fucking <laughs> <laughs> Wake up Wake up <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now. Black you sure? Positive. You brought your Mustang out over there? No, no, no. No? Oh, nothing? Nope. All right, guys, like I was saying, look, we got the Isolana over there on the trailer. Damn, that shit looks nice. But yeah, guys, he got in trouble for trying to sell me the diesel. But guys, no pasa nada. Because I actually called the dealer and I found one for a good deal. And we'll probably, you know, well, we just got to wait because it's, it's in another state and I'm in California and that diesel is actually in another state. And it's a duty too, guys. It's in another state. Well, you guys just stay tuned for the vlogs because I said we need we need more tow pigs. So when one breaks down, the other one's running, and then we you know we fix that one. And the other one, guys, we just gotta be up and down. Like I said, we got other shows coming up, and uh, stay tuned for all the shows that we got coming up. And we are fixing the OG right now, guys. For everybody you know that was seeing that I put it to sleep. No, guys, the truck's not up. She's not for, to sleep yet, but she is gonna be you know put up sometime later on probably like another two three more months i'm gonna have to put her away fix her up real nice just park her guys but Galeta, i think it's time to to retire her already oh comment down below guys what do you guys think should we retire her already or not yet is it time or not time should we continue you know this whole next year with the og or put her away and get another truck oh and just similar to that year you know but for now let's go get something to eat. let's go let's go <laughs> like eating uh what are those uh <laughs> well guys i ended up getting some balls of shrimp with bacon and cheese the fire hard let me see let me see damn they look fire the cheese pool 
the cheese. <laughs> but I didn't finish them, guys. They, it came with four. They, would you, oh, you guys got uh, salad. They got salad. No, they got. You got a crudo, crudo, crudo. It was raw. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, what was the sushi? Sushi, sushi roll, crudo. It was raw, guys. It was raw sushi. This guy got another raw one too. Huh? It's gas. <laughs> guys, they talked to him in Spanish, and he's a pinche no palote en frente este way. What's the only thing you know how to say in Spanish? <laughs> hey, what else? What else? <laughs> guys, he doesn't know how to speak Spanish, but we're, we're teaching him. I know all the good cuss words. He knows all the good cuss words we're teaching him. But for right now, guys, we just came to eat. The homie Munchies is out there knocked out since uh, he finished all the cheeseburgers from in the, from last night. I think he keistered them. He keistered He was actually blaming. Who was he blaming that he ate them all? Because I, I reached over like at 4 in the morning. I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm going to get a bite or something. I'll give half to this dude, you know? So I'm like, hey, where's the bag? And he's not like, oh, this fat ass threw, really ate him. He threw the bag out. <laughs> I was like, there were six cheeseburgers. Like, they're gone. And uh, yeah, guys, so he blamed Primo that he ate them. Did you eat them? I was asleep. You were sleep eating? I was asleep. I was asleep. <laughs> I was asleep. <laughs> I was asleep. <laughs> I was asleep. <laughs> no. When we ate, he was driving. I ate mine too. He ate like five. <laughs> this guy's dry snitching over here, huh? <laughs> look. look. You ate my other one. I took uh, You ate his? Mine, you ate his thing or you bit his thing? <laughs> that game wasn't a fucking foot long. Alright guys, well, like you said, after we finish eating, we're gonna drop on the diesel right now. We'll show you guys when we drop on the diesel and then, of course, head back home. Another 15 hour drive. Well, 16 hour drive. 16 coming and 16 going back, guys. So, we're gonna pass away Let's go, let's go. What kind of bullshit, God damn, mother. What's all that? That's chicle. Oh, bitch. That's chicle. <laughs> hey, Primo, what'd you say? He'd have, he'd have papers? Yeah, papers. We can get married. He'll get benefits. I'll treat him right. You know what I'm talking about? Let me pass, let me pass real quick. Let me, <laughs> let me pass mine too. So, guys, we were actually driving, and it said uh, oil. What did it say on the floor? Oh, yeah, fresh oil. It's all oh, damn. God. Oh, look at the side. <laughs> he got stuck right there. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's time to bring down this big ass monster. Well, guys, we didn't put the covers on, just just in case. But this, I don't think we need this right here no more. Let me just take that off. <laughs> we can take that off. We don't need that right there. This guys will get covered by the big old piece. We actually have it in the back. But like I said, we're not gonna put it on. Cause we are still, you know, the truck is still driving up and down. We're still testing it, but the truck already went up north. It drove what four hours, five hours up north. It ran literally super good, guys. No issues at all. Big shout out to Primos Customs. We already went mudding in the truck. He didn't know much. God damn. You want that, bro? That's for you. Happy birthday. Oh yeah, guys. And I forgot to explain to you guys what happened. Now, up north in Mendota, we broke, well, I broke the window on the passenger side, guys, in the rear because of Sharky's fault. No se quedan, guys. No se quedan. As you guys know, we have the ball in the back now. The goose neck. Well, someone decided to put some tables. I'm not going to say names, but they put some tables on the back. And, uh, well, guys, we got a broken window. I didn't show it to you guys at the other video, pero pues ahora sí se los enseñé. Está toda quebrada nomás. Mira cómo quedó. So if anybody out there has a back window, make sure to hit me up. You guys can hit up my Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here, guys. Send me a DM if you guys have a window, because we need one. We're going to be riding back all the way to California with that window cracked open like that. A good thing we don't have to turn on the AC. Oh, if we didn't even turn on the AC, it smells like burnt still, huh? You know what? We're going to stop right now at uh, O'Reilly's or somewhere and get those little, um. I'm not going to say the word, because then I could probably get banned on, on YouTube, but the little B-O-M things little small ones the foggers yeah those right there we're gonna buy some and just launch them in there while while driving we're gonna be all fumigados in there food se va, se van a morir las cucarachas. <laughs> bring it down sharky bring it down oh look it threw a little a little bit of black smoke what happened it smells ah huh? go straight back go straight back what <laughs> how does it smell in there it smell like fire in there well, guys, the Salona has touched Las Calles de West Texas again. Damn, I wonder who hit my hood right here. Look. 
Otro putazo. No pasa nada. We got the detail this truck when it gets back home. It smells nasty, huh? Ugh, it smells gross in here, bro. We're gonna stop right now at O'Reilly's or something. Or home tipo, the little, the little cucaracha um, things. ¿Qué traes tú? Hueles tú, güey. No te has bañado. All right, guys. Well. What? ¿Qué tal la troca? <laughs> Alright guys, we gotta strap this up so Primo could head on home. Primo, you're what, like four hours? No, you're like three hours from here? Yeah, like three hours. Three hours. He's three hours away. He said he's gonna he's gonna nap on the way there. Him and Munchies are gonna nap on the way there. So I wonder who's gonna... He said God's gonna take the wheel. Hello, hello, hello. Hell yeah. Well guys, that's strapped up. And we just gotta get our stuff from inside the truck. And he's on his way home. And we'll be on our way to California. So let's go, let's go. All right, guys. So we ended up driving for like the past uh, like five hours, and we're supposed to stop at uh, O'Reilly's to get something to throw on the truck, guys. But um, it was actually too out of our way, so we just stopped at a gas station like five hours later after a full tank. We found these little black ice Well, I found them. It's the way I eat. No hace nada. Ay, güey, me salgo de la carretera. Ay, Miguel. Pero, uh, ay, Miguel. Ay, Miguel. But yeah, guys, we ended up finding these little things. Let me show them to you guys real quick. So they go right here. Look, they go one right there, another one right there, another one right there, another one right there. You know, you have a lot of this way because the test is being gacho. Si o no? No. No. Pay attention. What? Bro. No, no. 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 No, I'm not even driving. Oh. Who's taking the wheel? <laughs> not me. Oh. 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 Oh.